we interrupt this program to bring you Courage the Cowardly Dog Show, starring Courage the Cowardly Dog. Abandoned as a pup, he was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband, Eustace Bay. But creepy stuff happens in nowhere. It's up to Courage to save his new home. Stupid dog, you made me look bad. <laughs> My name is Fred. The words you hear are in my head. I say, I said, my name is Fred, and I've been very naughty. I can't wait for that wee lad Fred to arrive. That freak's not setting one freaky foot in this house. The story I'm about to tell, I tell you I will tell it well, is of my dear Aunt Muriel and just how I've been naughty. The freak's a barber, a freaky barber, with his own freaky barber shop, where freaky things happen, freaky barber things. Voila, the farm. My aunt lives here, with precious pup and husband dear. My heart beat fast as I drew near. I felt so nice and naughty. Oh, that must be Fred. <laughs> I thought just how excited they must be that I would come today. They'd shout, come Fred, huzzah, hooray. Dear boy, you look so... Ah, Fred, my dear nephew, what brings you to our cozy corner of the world? Holiday. Courage! Come and meet Fred! <gasps> That's when my tired eyes beheld a doggy dog. Like dog, he spelled. D-O-G is what he spelled, and that's how I spell... Naughty. <laughs> Gotta go to the hardware store and get the, you know, fix the bathroom door. Just don't try shutting it, because you won't be able to get it open. Eustace, our guest is here. Say hello to Fred. Yeah. Hiya. Freak. Courage just now. You must be exhausted, Fred, dear. Would you like to freshen up? Yes. Been quite a trip, it has. Show Fred the bathroom, please, Courage. <laughs> Such a fuss. This rudeness won't do. Okay, I'll do it. But I won't like it. Okay, I'm going. Freak. Eustace, dear, could you do me a favor? I forgot to give Fred fresh towels. Would you bring him some? Mm. You give him to the freak. No! Whoops. Oh! <laughs> I heard the door slam. The door slammed. Oh. Well, I guess I better get. Now, don't you boys worry. Eustace will be back soon to get the door open. <sighs> Alone was I with tender courage and all his fur, his furry courage, which I say did encourage me to be quite naughty. Courage. Your hair. It reminds me of the first time I knew just how I felt about hair. It was a day I'd not forget. The day that I first met my pet. Oh, what a lovely gift to get. I'd never felt so... Naughty. 
my fuzzy friend is what he was, this darling little ball of fuzz. And oh, such fuzz, such fuzz, it does demand that I be naughty. He looked at me, his fetching eyes, and fetching fur did hypnotize. I filled with joy, I filled with sighs, and that's when I got naughty. <laughs> Now, now, you shouldn't play in the toilet. Don't worry, boys. Eustace should be at the hardware store by now. This dripping hair, this droopy curl, unfurls sweet memories of a girl. With tresses, oh, they twist and twirl and tempt me to be... Naughty. Barbara, my love, was named, and her fair hair, a mane untamed. Until one evening, I'm ashamed, I got a little naughty. The look upon my young love's face was sweet as lace. But in this case, I realized she... needed space. I never more was naughty. Well, maybe not never. <laughs> Playful little scamp. <laughs> Is everything all right in there? <coughs> Just can't wait for those pancakes, can you? <coughs> Wonderful! <coughs> Eustace should be back any moment now. <coughs> Need for panic. Behold, sustenance hungry well. <laughs> Dear Kerr, your fur and fleece remind of nothing found in humankind. But for one fellow who did find me to be in a certain mood. Into my shop he walked one day with bush above and beard bouquet. That's no to pay, I pray. No way. I could help but be, you know. Just a trim, partner. I'd never seen such hair before. He banged. They sang. His neck, it beckoned. Eyebrows, armpits, all were reckoned. Soon I figured, what the heck, and guess how I was naughty. anyone getting shaved in there so ends our little story what took them so long but 
Then my landlords did presume to free me from that porcelain tomb and ferry to a private room your hero, Ever Doughty. What a lovely visit. Too bad Eustace didn't get to say goodbye. Goodbye, dear aunt. I'll miss your farm and Eustace's ebullient charm. And farewell, courage. What's the harm if I was slightly naughty? With love, Fred.